Hi, I'm Teacher Tom. Let's talk about the future perfect progressive. Remember, progressive or continuous, I-N-G, something that is in progress. The action is in progress. So the future perfect progressive emphasizes the duration of an activity in the future that will be in progress before the occurrence of another activity or occurrence in the future. I hope that makes sense. So let's take a look at the board. So, this is Jeremy, okay? This is now, this is the past, all of this is the future. Everything here is the future and future perfect, right? So Jeremy will be reading a book in the future. He will be reading in the future. Seven o'clock p.m. is in the future. 8 o'clock p.m. is in the future. Jeremy will be reading during this time. Okay? That was future progressive. Now, future perfect progressive. We have two events, two occurrences. Number one is Jeremy reading. Number two is Jeremy's mother coming home from work. Okay, so we start with Jeremy reading, and the second occurrence or the second event is Jeremy's mother coming home from work. So, when Jeremy's mother comes home from work, Jeremy will have been reading for an hour. So the future perfect progressive emphasizes the duration of an action before the occurrence of another action in the future, which is Jeremy's mother coming home. So he reads for an hour, right? He starts at 7, and at 8 o'clock, he's still reading. It is still in progress, progressive. So, by the time Jeremy's mother comes home, Jeremy will have been reading for an hour will have been base verb ing he will have been reading for an hour okay future perfect progressive we use the subject plus will, plus have, plus been, plus the base verb, plus ing. For example, Jeremy will have been reading for one hour by the time his mother gets home. By the time his mother comes home, Jeremy will have been reading for one hour, okay? We never use has with the future perfect progressive. Always have, will have been, base verb, ing. Another example, I will have been studying, okay? By 2017, I will have been studying English 
for three years. By 2017, I will have been studying English for three years. Okay, so in this example, the action started in the past and progresses into the future. So we start in the past, we go to the future, and look back at the action in progress from the future point. So the future perfect progressive could start in the future and continue into the future. Or it could start now and continue into the future. Or it could start in the past and continue into the future progress into the future. Now, in this particular example, could we use the future perfect? By 2017, I will have studied English for three years. Yes, in this example, you could use the future perfect or the future perfect progressive. It really depends on what you want to emphasize. The duration of the action or simply the action itself. You can't do this in all cases, but in this example, you could. It depends on the situation. Let's look at an example that starts in the past and progresses into the future. Okay, this is the past, 2014. This is the future, 2017. He starts in 2014 and he looks into the future and sees 2017 with the same action, okay? So in 2014, he starts studying English. By 2017, he will have been studying English for three years, okay? In this example, it starts in the past and progresses to the future. In this case, we could also use the future perfect. By 2017, I will have studied English for three years. In this example, you could use the future perfect or future perfect progressive. Sometimes you can use either and they have the same meaning, but not all the time. It depends on the situation. It depends on the feeling of what you are trying to communicate. In this case, it works. By 2017, he will have been studying English for three years. Future Perfect Progressive. I'm Teacher Tom, and I will see you next time.